Hello, my name is Dominic Wagner and welcome to my online masterclass on Bottesini's double bass concerto in F sharp minor. Before we start, I want to mention one thing. I think we all know this piece is very demanding from a technical perspective. But what I often see, what is the biggest mistake you can make is to lose sight of all the beautiful music that's, that's in this piece. But you lose sight of all the places where you can really sing, where you can do great phrasings and just focus on the technical stuff. Because then also the technical stuff will probably not work. So I'm going to try to focus a lot besides on the technical stuff, also on the musical stuff that's in there. So we start with this phrase. <laughs> There are places where you sing, and then there are virtuoso places where you do all kinds of technical stuff. But during the places where you can sing, I think you should really sing. Some people play this beginning very like a bit like this, and I think it is a little pity. So I really try to sing, and I think to do also some phrasing. So when we start with. I think it's important to continue developing the notes until the G comes. Then relax a bit. Build up again. I know in many editions we've written a diminuendo, so it's then sudden for the piano. Um, this diminuendo is not written in any of Bottesini handwritings that I have uh, seen. There are two or three on Anna Sophie, you can take a look. Um, I think, yeah, it makes, from a singing perspective, way more sense to go... Go here, not go back before. And also about the... Make sure it's not... shifts so much. And then really make sure that this note gets to be heavy. And then the second time. Down here, again, I, I do not know why, and in Bottasini's handwritings, it's up here, and I don't see any reason why not to play the note that Bottasini wrote, so I will play that. Also, we want to make a little difference, because... Very dramatic, but... So first time we go there and second time we go back a little. 